Hi everybody, I thought we'd do something a little different today. We're not going to draw together. I'm going to show you how you can play a math game at home to practice your numbers all the way up to 100. The first thing you need to do though is you need to make a 100 board or a chart on a piece of paper that counts all the way up to 100. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do that and then I'll show you how to play the game. And it's a game that you can play with somebody else in your house and it's kind of a fun game um, to help you count up and uh, to practice your counting and to practice your big numbers. So I'm going to click off and say bye bye and then I'm going to show you over here how to make your board. So it's kind of like our hundreds board in our classroom. It's on this paper I'm going to start with a very big square-ish, almost the same size as my paper. But if it's a rectangle paper, then it has to be narrower than my paper. And I don't mind if it's not perfect, because it's just a place for us to write our numbers. Now, do you remember how many groups of 10 makes 100? 10 groups of 10. So we're going to have one group of 10, two groups of 10, three groups of 10, all the way down till we get to 100, whoop, right down here, just like our hundreds chart in school. So let's start by doing the groups this way. So if we need 10 groups of 10, 1, 2, 3 groups of 10, 4 groups of 10, Five groups of ten, six groups of ten, seven groups of ten, eight groups of ten. This is nine groups of ten. I don't have to draw the last line because it's already there. This is ten groups of ten. Now we're going to do the same thing going across. So I'm going to go down this time and I'm going to make 10 lines again because this needs to be a group of 10. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. You can get a parent or an older brother or sister to help you with this too. It just takes a little bit of time, but once you get going, it's not that hard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Seven, eight, nine, and I don't have to draw my tenth line because I already did it when I drew the square at the beginning. So now I have ten groups of ten, and I'm going to fill in the numbers. I'll start, and I'll show you how I do it, and then I'll pause the video and finish it because it'll take a, a little while for me to do this. So I just start with the number one. And I'm going to go across like we're reading from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of our numbers on this side are going to be like when we're counting by tens. So this will be what comes after ten? Eleven. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I wonder, 10, 20, what will come here? 30, you're right, I'm going to put it in. Okay, I'm just going to do the next row, then I'll stop and finish it, and then you can see what it looks like when it's all full. So after 20 comes 21, 20. Two, you'll start to notice patterns. Twenty-three. Twenty. Do you see that all the ones place are four? Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. And were we right? Yeah, thirty. Okay, I'm just going to pause it. I will finish the rest of the numbers and then I'll come right back. Okay, so here I am with my completed 100 chart, or my game board. It goes all the way from 1, across this way, 
all the way down to 100. And now I'm going to show you how to play the game. Okay, there are different ways that you can play this game. You can play it where each player has their own game board, or you can play where both players use the same game board, and then you only have to make one. So I'm going to show you what that would look like. Uh, what you need is some markers for each player. So I have two markers. I have a coin, and I'm just going to use this little piece of paper that I just had, and I'm just going to put a happy face on it, and that's my other marker that I will move across the board like that. I know it's kind of the same color, but it will work for now. Now, the other thing is you need something to give you some numbers. I thought that I would use dice for this because you could use one die or two dice. Um, if you want smaller numbers, you just use one die. If you want bigger numbers, you can use two dice together. But I couldn't find any dice in my house. I don't know where they all are. So I did find a pack of cards. And what I did was I took out all of these cards. I'll just show you. All of these ones, these are called the face cards. I took them out because they don't have numbers on them and I just want numbers today. So I'm just going to put those on the side, don't need those right now, and I'm going to use all the numbers that have the card, sorry, all the cards that have the numbers on them. And I tried to shuffle them up. You can shuffle them however you want to shuffle them. I do it this way and put them together, and I put them together to make them all mixed up. And then what you do is you will take turns drawing a card. So the first player is going to be the coin, and the second player is going to be the happy face. So here, first player gets what number? Oh, one. So the first player puts their marker on the number one. Okay, now pretend I'm the second player. The second player, whoa, what did the second player get? Nine. And if you can't remember that, you can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. The second player got nine, so I put it on nine. Now it's the first player's turn again. Here we go. What number did they get? Five. So this is where it gets a little trickier. I'm not just going to put my marker on the number five, because I was already on the number one. So I have to count up five more spaces. So I count one, two, three, four, five. And that's where my marker goes. Okay. Here's player number two's turn. What did that player get? A one. So we just go one space. Player number one. What number? Two. So I count. I don't count the one I'm on. I start counting after. One, two. Oop. Okay, now it's this person's turn. What number? Eight. So now I have to count up eight more. So I don't count here, but I start counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, what number did I land on? Eighteen. Okay, now it's my coin turn. What number? Four. So I count up four more. One, two. Then make sure you go to the next row. Three, four. So I landed on the number twelve. Good job. And you keep playing and you keep turning over cards or rolling your dice or die, however many you want to play with, until one player or both players get all the way to 100. This game is called Race to 100. And it's pretty fun. And it's a good, it's a good way to practice reading your numbers. So when you land on a number, you can say, what number? And I say 12. And if you say, oh, well, I got two more. What number? 20. So if you say your numbers, it'll help you remember them. It's a fun game to play. I hope you enjoy it.